Hello, this is Jonathan Wright, Dr. Wright from the Tama Clinic in Tuckwilla, Washington. Well, the example I was going to give, Charlie, of a natural substance taking care of a problem that we usually are given one or another patent medicine for is an example that if I talk too fast, people can read about in uh, Suzanne Somer's most recent book, Breakthrough, in which she interviewed me for the second or third chapter, I forget which. It's about the treatment of bladder infection. Now, bladder infections are something that are sexist, and mostly women do get them. A few men do get bladder infections, but mostly ladies. And, ow, they hurt. And what do we usually do? We go to the physician, and what the physician's been educated in, so he does what he thinks is right, is to give a prescription from a patent medicine company for one or another antibiotic. And, yes, that can take care of it, but it also upsets all the gut flora by killing off those bacteria there. Now, there's a much simpler way of taking care of 90% of them that doesn't do anything bad at all to our bodies. 90% roughly of bladder infections are caused by little bacteria called E. coli. And that's not the same mutated E. coli that got into Jack in the Box and killed some people a few years back. This is just the ordinary E. coli that's in all mammalian and human guts. belongs there. It's a friendly bacteria. But when they get in the wrong place, like in the bladder... Hmm, they cause an infection because they don't belong there. Well, it's been found that there is a simple sugar called D, that's a capital D, and then dash mannose, M-A-N-N-O-S-E. And D mannose has a very unique capability, and that is it detaches the bacteria that are sticking to the lining of the bladder without killing them. Now, D mannose... The bacteria called E. coli, the way they, why, why are 90% of bladder infections that way anyway? Because the E. coli has learned that there are little tiny bits of D. mannose on the inside lining of the bladder naturally, and it has learned to stick to them. So it literally crawls into the bladder like Spider-Man, sticking, 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 sticking to the D. mannose. All right. So what we do is we have ladies take a teaspoon, which is about five grams of D. mannose, it's a sugar. It even tastes good. How do you like that? A spoonful of sugar literally helps the medicine go down here. Well, she takes that, and most of it is actually excreted right out through the kidneys because the body can't use it all. Even if it could, it's fairly harmless, but it can't use it all, and it goes out right out through the kidneys. And here's these little bacteria clinging by their by their fingers, as it were, to the inside lining of the bladder, and they're just holding on for life. And here comes this great cloud of D-mannose through the ureters into the bladder. And the bacteria say, oh, wow, D-mannose, that's my favorite thing, party time! And so they detach themselves from the wall of the bladder, and they go swing around to grab onto all the D-mannose that they can And they don't notice. They're not holding onto the bladder anymore. And so the next time she urinates, whoosh, flush, and out they go. But we didn't kill them. Now, what difference does that make? The reason that there's so much antibiotic resistance, Charlie, is that we're killing bacteria. And, of course, we'd rather they were dead than us. But we're killing them. And life forms don't like to be killed. They really don't. And so they develop this thing called resistance. And they won't. They fight back. And they learn to resist the antibiotic. But what about the bacteria that we flushed out with the D-mannose? They're happy. We just gave them what they wanted. And so they go into the toilet and down to the sewer, and they tell all the other bacteria in the sewer how nice we were to them by giving them D-mannose, which they really love. And they never develop resistance. So basically, one can go to one's local natural food store, compounding pharmacy, uh, even our clinic dispensary, but any of those places, and buy D-mannose. And first sign of a bladder infection teaspoon every three to four hours while you're awake. You don't have to do it while you're asleep because, of course, the bladder doesn't empty while we're asleep. And 90% of those infections are gone within 48 hours, Charlie. 90%! Remember, that's because 90% of infections are caused by E. coli. So we've found an ecological means of rinsing these things out of our systems without killing little germs. What could be more green? We've been kind to the planet here as well as ourselves. And in the 10%, which don't go away, Then we go see the doctor and get an antibiotic, all right? There you go. There we are.